Hello Hoovians! Haven't uploaded in a while, but I saw Sam did the other way. Hello Hoovians! Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, Sam has the up the other day, so it uh, looks like, you know, maybe the Hoovians 2 will start uploading again. Um, I just wanted to talk about the first video I ever did. Coming up on about a year ago now, I made my first video, which was a review of the recently broadcast Torchwood Miracle Day. I would like to revise some of the things I said in that video. Now, I didn't really regret what I said in that video till a couple of weeks ago. So let me explain. I decided, you know what? I feel like rewatching Torchwood. All 41 episodes. So I set about doing that. Now, I already know I love the first three seasons, and I thought I liked the fourth season as well. Now, I got through the first season, fine. Second season, great. Third season, awesome. And when I finished the third season, I, I thought about watching the fourth season, and I, I just sort of... I couldn't really bear it, to be honest, after the third season, after the brilliance that was Children of Earth, I'm not sure I could really watch Miracle Day. So I, I didn't. I didn't watch it, I decided, no, I'm finishing the Children of Earth. And then I sort of thought about an hour later, actually, I'm going to persevere with this, I'm going to try and rewatch Miracle Day. I managed to get nearly to the end of the first episode before I sort of thought, this, it's, it's no good, it, it, it doesn't compare to any of the other seasons. I just, I couldn't watch it. And so, to revise what I said last year, the fourth season of Torchwood Miracle Day isn't bad. It, it isn't bad. That Saying it's bad is underrating it. Saying it's good, or even lives up to the standard of the first season of Torchwood, is an insult to the show itself. Torchwood Miracle Day is okay. It's watchable. But it, it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like Torchwood anymore. It, it doesn't live up to the standard of the first three seasons, and certainly nowhere near Children of Earth. And that, having re-watched it, that was a great disappointment for me, because when I first saw it broadcast on TV, I was sort of like, this is, this is okay, this is, you know, I quite like this, I like it a lot, but when it was first broadcast on TV, it had been maybe six months to a year since I'd seen any of the other three seasons, and um, that was probably why I liked it more. But having rewatched the first three seasons, it's just, uh, it's horrible. It's, uh, I, I couldn't get through it, I'm afraid to say. So, basically, now Miracle Day, I've disowned it. It's, it's no longer canon for me. It never happened in the Doctor Who universe for me, unless, or until, until, you know, Russell T Davies writes, unless he writes a great fifth season, a fifth season that has to at least live up to the standard of season two. Just, season one, okay, maybe, but... If he writes another one that's up to the standard of Miracle Day, then I'm, I'm disowning it completely. Miracle Day is not canon for me. Uh, that's pretty much what I want to say. Or, if they bring out a good book, a good canon book or audio story, then I'll count that canon. Yeah, that, that'll be canon. As long as something canon, a canon follow-up, so either a book or an audio play 
or you know maybe the next season as long as those are very good then I will I will I will count season 4 as canon again but at the moment I'm going to pretend it never happened because it was that was that was not good at all I'm afraid that was no no and in other unrelated doctor who news I have at last moved in to my new apartment in New York with a cool TV. Yep, this is my new apartment in New York. This is the living room. That's where you just saw me filming. And this is my bedroom. Well, now in, oh, what's the date? In about another three days, the new episode of Doctor Who will be broadcast Asylum of the Daleks, which I am very excited for. Very, very excited for. I cannot wait. Cannot wait at all. It looks awesome. Like, oh, I've been looking forward to it for so long. I'm very looking forward to the new season. Uh, season 33, as I refer to it. And I did just want to say, I think people do underrate season 32 or series 6 a lot. I did like that. I think it's an underrated season. Okay, so hopefully I should have a review of Asylum of the Daleks out within the next week. Um, I have some people over, so I might not be able to film it just after it's broadcast. And currently, I am reading the um, the first four books of the New New Adventures. Yeah, the Virgin New Adventures. Um, Time Worm series. I'm rereading them, and I will. I'll bring out a review of them after I've reread them. Probably just some thoughts on them. Okay, so Zach HGS signing off.